we all know the song. She told me to walk this way, talk this way, walk this way, talk this way. Just but do you know how much of an impact it's had on American music and pop culture? Walk This Way was one of the first hip-hop, rock and roll collaborations, combining the local legends Aerosmith with rap verses like this one from Run DMC. A great video, but did it really change the world? Washington Post reporter and Boston native Jeff Edgers makes the case in his new book. It's called Walk This Way, Run DMC, Aerosmith, and the song that changed American music forever. I love this book, by the way. Nice to see you. <laughs> so we've all seen this uh, video, but set the scene. So Aerosmith puts out this hit in 1975. It's the mid-'80s. They're on the decline, to say the least. What are the Perry and he called the Toxic Twins? Is that what they're right, called? Right, yeah. And then there's Run DMC, which is huge, but in a very small universe. So you take the story from there. Yeah, well, it's, it's hard for people to understand today a moment when hip-hop wasn't completely central to our culture. But in 1986, and that's when I'm 15 years old in Brookline, suburban white kid. I was about 60 years old then. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sitting there, and uh, this video comes on, on MTV, and it's the first time I really was exposed to that because at that point in time, rap was not played on mainstream radio, and it wasn't on TV. Is that why this Rick Rubin producer guy brought these guys together? The goal being to, to allow the MTVs of the world and the, the radio stations of the world to say these guys are acceptable to play. Was that the motivation here by pairing them with Aerosmith? I think that he saw a future that was bigger for rap. Now, Run DMC was already doing very well. They were the first rap superstars. You know, they were selling a million records. Mm. But what Rick Rubin wanted to do was sell five million records. He wanted to break through in a way that they, you know, they couldn't unless they had these two scraggly white guys who were struggling. Because Rick Rubin also was a fan of Aerosmith. He loved them. But, you know, he, he understood that they were the key to breaking through. How much did he pay uh, Perry and Tyler to come uh, for the session? It was uh, $8,000. That right? is unbelievable. And I, I offered him 10000 They wouldn't come <laughs> over last week. <laughs> so they, they, to, uh, to fast forward a little bit, they do this thing, and it's still, obviously, you've got to get it on the air. There's another local hook to this story besides Aerosmith. There's a pretty famous guy who's actually sitting right over there about a month ago yeah. uh, who is pivotal in making this really happen. Oedipus, tell that part of the story. Yeah, Oedipus. I mean, again, WBCN does no longer exist, but BCN was king for decades. And people in the country, radio programmers, they followed BCN, and MTV followed the radio programmers. So when this song came in, Oedipus told me, you know, they would never put Run DMC on the radio. But when they saw that it was Aerosmith and Run DMC and Aerosmith, you know, Boston's own, they put it right on, and then everybody else followed. Because basically... It's an industry based on following the leader, and uh, that, that broke it. You know, uh, you have some great rare video that accompanies this whole thing. I want to play a couple of pieces here. First of all, here is Aerosmith, young Aerosmith, talking about Run DMC. Here it is. Yeah, we've heard him. We've heard him on the radio before, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I like this style because there's um, a lot of electric guitar in it, you know. And Finally. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it caught my ear. Okay, that's one. Let's play another one before you comment on all this. Look at his face. Here's <laughs> Russell Simmons. You know who he is. Now, at the time, he's run DMC's manager. Here's what he had to say. I don't know how similar the audience is. I think they're pretty similar, too, but the music is so similar that it makes most sense. It was Rick Rubin's idea. It's my partner in production. Rick. This is Rick Rubin. And he and I thought, well, he thought that we should, you know, approach it because it's their favorite record. And we caught wind of it and said, why not? They're both lying, right? It wasn't their favorite record. And Aerosmith wasn't crazy at all about Run DMC, right? No, I mean, and this is revelatory. I found this footage. Uh, Viacom found it when I asked him for it when I was looking, you know, for, mm -hmm. for uh, when I was doing my reporting. And what's amazing is there are so many myths about this moment in time. Mm -hmm. But one of the key ones is that these guys liked each other or knew each other. And, in fact, they had no idea. Run DMC had no idea who Aerosmith was. <laughs> so they great. didn't even know Walk This Way. They, thought, they, they called it no, song number four on Toys in the Attic, which is the record. And Aerosmith had no idea. Joe Perry's stepson had showed him, like, Dougie Fresh and a few rap things, but they were just doing it because they were paid. You know, what, I was re-watching the video again today, and I'm embarrassed to say something I didn't notice when I saw it for the first time decades ago. The audience seems to be almost all white. And there was a... Am I right about that? And there's yes. A, there was a method to that madness. That was intentional, correct? 
Well, I talked to the guy who directed that, that video, John Small, and they actually put out a call for an audience, and um, they found uh, two groups of people came because they put out a call for Run DMC and Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of white kids and a lot of black kids, and the white kids were s in their cars in the parking lot, scared, and uh, they had to, like, knock on the windows and bring them into the, into the studio. And so that's why it's so segmented, because they wanted to have these two very separate groups together. You know, so the, the goal here was obviously to elevate, even though, as you say, they were selling a lot of records, but they weren't selling as many records as, as people like Ruben thought they could sell, was to elevate Run DMC. But it also had the same impact on Aerosmith. I don't know if they're even bigger after this oh, yeah. than they were in the 70s when they were huge, right? No one remembers, but Aerosmith had made their comeback record, Done With Mirrors, in 1985, and it bombed. And Walk This Way changed their careers. I mean, they could, Steve Perry, uh, sorry, Steve Perry, Steve, Steve Tyler. Tyler cleaned up because of Walk This Way. And then they went on to Permanent Vacation and all, all these records that were bigger than they were in the 70s. Okay, second half of the title, Run DMC, Aerosmith, and the song that changed American music forever. You go on to say it changed society forever. Make that case in a minute if you can there, Jeff. Edwards. I can make it in less than a minute. Go ahead. Before this song, there was no such thing as a mashup. Kanye West and Paul McCartney would not have done something together. There was no In Living Color. There was no Yo! MTV Raps. There was no Arsenio. There was no Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Hip-hop and rap became part of our culture. And I'm not even talking about, you know, selling sneakers and clothes and, and 50 Cent having a deal with vitamin water. It just didn't exist. And now it's, it's our entire culture. How exciting is it to go back into the ins? Like when you found those videos, how, what does that feel like? How great is that? Well, look, I'm always a 15-year-old kid who got to see Aerosmith on their comeback tour. So being on the phone with all those guys, sitting in Run's mansion while I'm showing him that footage, that's how I built it back. A lot of people didn't remember that footage or that day. I brought that footage to his house and had him watch it with me with a microphone so he could go, oh, my, I can't believe this stuff. So it's, it, look, it's a great gift. I, I, I feel lucky to be able to do it. The book's a great gift, too. It really comes across. Jeff, it's great Thank to you see so you. much. Jeff Edwards, really appreciate it. Again, the book is Walk This Way, Run DMC, Aerosmith, and the song that changed American music forever.